It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. Draw, paint, sculpt a day with zany artsy. It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. With your hoes and wah, who say voila, it's zany artsy. Zany artsy. Zany artsy. Welcome back to another episode of Zany Artsy. It is I, your resident online artist, Zanwa. Yes. You're still not tired to see my face. Mm. Yes, can you see that quarantine glow? Ah. Anyways, so in today's episode, we're going to be doing a lovely little technological challenge because we can't just stick to pen and pe pencil and paper every day. So we're going to go a little bit technology with it okay so what I'm gonna be showing you today is a little assignment I'm doing with my young students mainly my grade threes but this can be for anybody that just want to understand how to use paint yes paint it is one of my favorite programs I've been using it from the 90s yes I am that old I mean, I was all up in high school in the 90s. I mean, almost finished with high school in the 90s. Okay, not finish, finish, but get to that, you know, finish line. So, the program I'm talking about is paint. I love using paint. I use paint to build diagrams, build diagrams, and you guessed it, build more diagrams, because that's what I basically use it for now. Anyways, work keeps me occupied, but you can use it for any other little thing. Draw, you can actually draw characters in it. You can draw houses in it. You can just draw in it overall. So what I'll be using today is an older version. You can actually download it. I don't know about the link because I found this years ago and I just make sure to keep it on my computer. So I like to use the paint xp version because with that one you can do awesome coloring with the new paint that you guys probably have no it's it's fine it's fine i'm not gonna knock it but it ain't xp xp was like crisp. i've been creating a simple but cute t-shirt design okay that's a t-shirt design We'll get more technical in the future lessons, but we're just going to start off small. How to use the basic tools and whatnot. So, that's all we're doing today. Uh, uh, yeah, so today we're just going to be doing a simple t-shirt design on paint. That's all we're doing, a t-shirt design. Nothing else, nothing too big and fancy. Just getting used to all the tools in Paint XP, which can also be used in the other versions of Paint, so don't worry about that. So, all you're gonna be needing is a computer and Paint XP. That's it. Oh, and of course, imagination. Because you can't create any art without your imagination. So, let's get to it. All right, so here we have our paint program. This is the 2007-2010 version. You know, I said XP, but I prefer to use XP, but because most of my students have this, I'm using this version. So right now, here are some tools that we use. Our pencil, our paint brushes, our shapes. and our sizes because this is what helps you to change the thickness of lines in the picture your color areas is where all your colors are found this is where you can go to edit your colors by just moving that triangle up or down to get the right tone that you want just like that up down yes and then select it so this template was already made, so I'm just going to put a design on it. 
using basic shapes and lines. So, first things first, I'm going to be choosing, hmm, let me see what, oh, yes, let's go with a circle, choose a circle shape, then I'm going to choose a third line, third line option, yeah, that's the best option. So you don't want to do it too thick, you want to keep the lines as consistent as possible. So I'm just going to be holding down my left click and pulling see the good thing with this version you can move it up and down until you feel like you want to place it so i'm going to place it right there and i'm going to pull another one uh sorry for the graphics you know got to use my budget programs zany rc is a god bless production anyways so I doubled up my circle and I'm going to choose a star to put in the center. As I said, it's a simple shirt design. So, how you get all these shapes, you hold your left click on your mouse and you just pull to the, to the, the size that you want. And then you can place it. All right, so I'll put the star in the center. No, it's not Captain America's shield. I'm not stealing nothing. See, I'm going to throw a little bit of sweetness on it. Put in a little diamond. Nah, I changed my mind. All right, so let me see. Yeah, this much better. But the good thing is if you don't like something, you want to correct it or you want to change it, Control Z. It's an uh, oh, sorry. Control Z for my American folk. That is what we use to undo. It's a keyboard shortcut for undo. All right, so I'm just gonna be placing some lines using the line tool. It's pretty simple. You hold your left click, pull to the length that you want, and just let it go. But with this version, you have to kind of click far away from it to release it. Otherwise, if you click too close, it's going to pull along whatever direction you put it to. So I'm just putting a few lines right now. It's best to take your time. Don't rush through it. Because if you really want some nice straight lines, you have to take your time to line it up. It's a hand-eye coordination kind of exercise. As I always say with art, don't rush, man. So now I'm going to be using my fill with color tool. It's a little paint bucket. Your paint spilling out. You choose your color. Good thing about this, you can... Oh, yeah, let me show you this. If you have black lines and you put black in, make sure you want that black to stay because this is what happens if you change the color. Yikes. But don't worry. You can easily fix it with undo, control Z, or the undo button that's at the top. So, I'm going to be using blue, because that's my favorite color. I love blue. And I'm going to just add, well, you know, more blue, because can't have too much blue. Alright, so, down here, at this bottom section, is the, the zoom area that helps to magnify, so you can go up close and personal. Again, sorry for the quality budget films work with what we can find all right so i'm using my fill with color tool i'm using a different shades of yellow and oranges and you know to fill in all the various parts i i like to put the colors in different sections i don't want the same color touching each other so now i'm going to use a little bit of red it's kind of allow that center section to pop. All right, let me see. Uh, hmm, which color should I use now? All right, I think I'll use the yellow right here. Oh, be careful not to touch those lines when you're dropping in colors, because if you drop the color on the line, the line color will change. But again, simple mistake that can be fixed by just pressing Control Z on your keyboard or the undo button at the top.
all right so i'm just going it's kind of hard when it comes to design you want to make sure that the colors work well with it so i'm going to go with the same dark blue that's in the sleeve area because orange complements blue so I'm, like, I'm kind of just using a little bit of complementary and contrasting colors to get these colors to pop so i don't like when both um, the same color is beside itself because I want to give that nice stained glass effect but now I have a little bit of a dilemma I can't put another yellow there because the yellow will touch yellow and I can't put the blue there because the blue won't touch the blue uh, but the red doesn't even look any better alright change the scenery so I'm going in further with the zoom because I'm going to be using my eraser to basically erase that center line because it's the main thing throwing off the balance of this entire piece again sorry for the quality one of these days we won't get that good that good good but for now budget alright so now that I've, I've taken out that middle line I can gladly put in the blue and look now we have a completely filled in shirt design simple sweet and geometric and to the point uh, well, let's wait for this to settle give it time let me just rub that out <laughs> ta-da magic all right so that's a completed shirt good so after it's complete you go to file and save as then you just give your file a name I'm gonna call it t-shirt 101 or yeah t-shirt design 101 there we go and then you just click save and that's my t-shirt design you can do whatever design you want and thank you for doing paint with me now back to your regular programming i hope you like this episode remember to like and subscribe down the bottom it's like right there below you see it below 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 <laughs> so make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more episodes of zany artsy i'm your host zanwa and i'll see you next time Draw with me, paint with me, come and see me once on Anzania. Bye! It's time to get Zany artsy, time to create like crazy. Draw, paint, sculpt today with Zany Artsy. It's time to get Zany Artsy. Time to create like crazy. With your hoes and wah, we say voila. It's Zany Artsy. Zany Artsy. Zany Artsy.